Marion Ramsey was a wonderful comedic actress, best known for her role as Sergeant Laverne Hooks in the film series Police Academy, where she acted alongside Steve Gutenberg, among others. The first film was released March 22, 1984, and soon became so popular it's now regarded as a cult classic. I'm not sure, sir. Wow. People loved Police Academy so much, it inspired six more sequels, all of which Marion Ramsey would appear in. While the series would certainly be Marion Ramsey's most memorable work, she actually got her start as a Broadway actress. From there, she successfully transitioned to film and TV roles. Even after the Police Academy series ended, she would go on to act in many more films. Throughout her life, Marion Ramsey appeared in 31 film and TV roles, including the Police Academy series, Return to Babylon, and La Valentula. She had a long, prolific career as an actress that spanned 43 years. While her talents as an actress would never be rewarded by prestigious accolades, her talent did allow her to keep working. She never fizzled out or quietly retired. However, despite being well known for her role in Police Academy, as well as other films and TV shows, much of Marion Ramsey's life story is a mystery. Perhaps because she rarely starred alongside A-list celebrities, she didn't have as many devoted fans as many other celebrities do today. Sadly, Marion Ramsey passed away January 7, 2021. While friends, family, and fans were all devastated to hear of the loss, many people have finally taken the opportunity to acknowledge all the good she did throughout her life. You dumb fat jigaboo! Fellow celebrities, as well as longtime fans of Police Academy, have been writing meaningful tributes to this wonderful actress, whose long career has finally come to an end. Marion will always be remembered for her contributions to film and to Broadway. The talented actress lived a long life surrounded by fans and loved ones, and though she's gone, her legacy will live on for years. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Marion Ramsey's long and successful career, as well as some of the highlights of her life. Stick around, because we're also going to reveal how her famous character in Police Academy is drastically different from Ramsey's personality in real life. I, I want to be a police officer. What? I can't hear you. Marion Ramsey's Early Life Marion Ramsey was born May 10, 1947, in Philadelphia. She grew up with three brothers who are all still alive today and currently mourning the loss of their sister. While there isn't much else known about her family or early life, we do know she was determined to pursue life as an actor. Because acting is such a risky career path, it shows Marion had guts and confidence from a young age. She started out acting in Broadway shows where she became a regular on the stage. Eventually, she decided to take her acting skills to the big screen. Her first on-screen role was in 1975, where she appeared in the comedy show Keep On Truckin'. She's very different from her character in Police Academy. Marion Ramsey will probably be remembered as her most iconic character, Sergeant Laverne Hooks. This character has a distinctively squeaky voice, as well as a shy and jumpy personality. In real life, however, close friends, family, and colleagues have asserted that Marion was as different as possible from this character. She was known for a bold and commanding voice. She certainly had a presence backstage, but when it came to acting for the cameras, she could morph into a different person. She wore a fat suit in Police Academy. Believe it or not, while performing her role as Laverne Hooks in the Police Academy series, the producers wanted her to wear a fat suit. Originally, they intended to switch the fat suit out for increasingly thinner suits so it looked like Marion Ramsey's character lost weight. Eventually, however, they decided against this idea, and she simply stayed in a fat suit for the entirety of the film franchise. <laughs> she preferred a private life. Many Hollywood stars and celebrities enjoy the attention of the spotlight and have no problem declaring their relationships and struggles to the rest of the world. Others prefer a more private life. Marion Ramsey was certainly one of the latter. While she was never afraid to be confident on stage and off, she always carefully separated her work life from her personal life. While little is known about her, it's believed she was single for much of her life. There's no record of any engagement or marriage, and she has no children. Still, despite this quiet way of life, she touched many people around her, and longtime friends described her as being gentle, loving, and kind to everyone she met. Ow! 
she had a successful Broadway career. Marion Ramsey got her start on Broadway. Most famously, she appeared in the original Broadway production of Hello, Dolly. She also co-starred in Broadway productions such as Yubi and Grind. She had an impressive singing voice, as well as a commanding stage presence. However, later on, she would decide to transition to film and TV. While Marion would never be as famous as some actors and actresses we know today, she never gave up on her passion. Stick around until the end, because we're going to reveal how friends and family dealt with her passing. And if you're enjoying this video so far, please take a moment to like it and subscribe to Facts First for more. She was a huge advocate for people struggling with HIV and AIDS. Marion Ramsey devoted much of her life to raising awareness about HIV and AIDS. The terrible illness has claimed millions of lives, and before any treatments were discovered, many people were left to die with devastating and painful symptoms. There's always been a lot of terrible stigma and misinformation surrounding the disease, which Marion Ramsey worked hard to combat. A lifelong singer, she appeared at an annual fundraiser where she performed the song Divas Simply Singing in order to raise more money. She was deeply empathetic towards those suffering from AIDS and HIV and extended her whole heart towards those people for many long years. She also worked as a musician. She led a rich and full life outside of acting. She worked as a songwriter alongside Harris Fire who's known as the composer behind songs such as This Time I'll Be Sweeter, Supernatural Thing, and Satan's Daughter. While Marion never launched a solo career as a singer, her voice was incredibly popular among friends, family, and fans. She was close friends with Leslie Easterbrook. While filming the Police Academy franchise, Marion Ramsey developed a close friendship with Leslie Easterbrook, who, aside from her own role in Police Academy, is well known for her role as Rhonda in the show Laverne and Shirley. She has also had successful work as a producer. While Leslie Easterbrook has not yet released a statement regarding the loss of her friend, it's all too easy to imagine the grief she's feeling. She acted until two years before her death. Marion Ramsey may have been 73 at the time of her death, but even as she was growing older, she refused to quit acting until two years prior. Later in life, she starred in the film Lava Lantula, as well as its sequel, To Lava, To Lantula. Her final acting credit was in the 2018 film When I Sing as the character Reggie. Her acting career spanned 43 years, and she appeared in 31 film and TV roles, as well as many Broadway productions. Trained volunteers in crime detection, in first aid, and, and, and... And it's a great idea, sir. Marion Ramsey's Final Days her manager, Roger Paul, released a statement saying, Marion carried with her a kindness and permeating light that instantly filled a room. The dying of her light is already felt by those who knew her well. We will miss her and always love her. She died on January 7th, and while no concrete cause of death was given, it was revealed she was ill in the days prior to her death. Her body was cremated, and her family members will scatter her ashes in the ocean per her request. Marion Ramsey lived a rich and wonderful life, and fans will remember her talent for many long years. Were you more surprised to learn Marion was close friends with Leslie Easterbrook, or that she worked as an advocate to bring awareness to HIV and AIDS? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Facts First for more.